Yeah. And then get another awesome class staring in line. Number four. Yeah. Yeah. This time, as my nose, I'm holding some eggs. So we're probably going to be with eggs, which is quite obvious. And oh, we are going to stand on eggs. Now, everyone, now as everyone knows, when you're banging on the egg, you're banging the, the egg, an egg on somewhere, it'll break easily. So it's going to be surprising to see if these eggs hold my body weight. So anyway, as you might have guessed, for the service experiment, you need eggs, you need bare feet, no shoes, shoes banged, a pair of scissors. And a bag, or newspaper, or a cow, or whatever you need. So the first step is to inspect the eggs and make sure they behave themselves. No, it's not really, it's just Make sure all the eggs are not cracked, no dents, no nothing. So as you can see, all these eggs are pretty good, but just pick each egg up and have a little speck around it. Do that with both your cartons or eggs, because you need two cartons of eggs. One for each foot. So one for this foot, one for that foot. So, and then after you've done that, and you've given your egg a good inspection, make sure nobody's got any cracks, no dents, no nothing, you decide if you want to either have your, like, when you stand on your eggs, you either want to stand on the pointy bit, or you want to stand on the smooth bit. So once you've decided you either want pointy or smooth bit of the egg, you place them all the same way. So you wouldn't, when you put your eggs in the carton after you've looked at them, you don't place one egg pointy away and one egg non pointy away, one egg pointy, one egg non pointy. You, put, you either put, put them all non pointy, so all the flat surfaces are showing, or you put them all pointy. So it just depends for you. I don't think it makes any difference. So after you've Decide if you want pointy, non pointy, and chosen all your eggs so they're all pointy or all non pointy. When you get your carton of eggs, you may notice they have these little thingy my bobs in them, and they're like that. So when you you need to cut those off so they're like looking like that, so they're almost flat. So when you stand your foot on them. Your feet, foot on them, you're flat like that. My arm. So I just cut all those little, I don't know, those peg thingies off. So you don't have any, so what you say is like rocky road, it's almost like, like that. So after you've done that, which takes a little while, because you might need to, oh, you need an assistant to help you when you're standing on the eggs. Why did I forget that? So, I'm going to lay down my eggs now, which is the exciting bit, because I will probably be standing on eggs in a minute. Now I'm going to sort of fit, so hopefully it doesn't hurt my precious footy. That has nothing to do with the experiment, by the way. Don't hurt your foot for this. So, I'm going to put my eggs, well, put my, just in case it goes wrong, put down your little bag, tea towel, newspaper, whatever. And you open your eggs up and you put them on like this. Now when you stand a little, you have to stand on them. So now just pretend my hand's my foot. So let's say I put my foot on like this and I curved it all like this and I was moving around on the eggs. That would all break. Probably everyone knows that. So when you put your foot on the eggs, you, you don't want to put it like this or like that. You put it in the middle of the eggs and ha see how my foot's flat? It probably wouldn't break. So you wouldn't, so you put your foot on flat. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't put your foot like this curved or you wouldn't do it backwards or unusual. It feels like when you're walking. Like when, when you walk, do you put your foot on your, like, do you walk on your heels? So, if you don't and you walk like a normal human, 
That's the same with the thing with these eggs. You don't put it on fancily between the cracks or that. You just push your egg foot in the middle like that, just like how my foot is now. So that's what it should look like. So I need a bit of my help from my, my assistant because I'm going to get up and hopefully. Now you will notice if one of the eggs crack because you'll see old goo and I'll probably scream or something. So I need help from my assistant. Now I just cracked the egg just standing up to have my foot on the eggs. Not very simple. Put it off and then put it on. Which is a very small thing to do. So my recommendation, just learning from my experience, then don't stand up with your feet on the the egg. Now, lucky for me, we've got another cargo of eggs. So if I break these, I can do, I can fix it up. But I haven't got many eggs, so can't muck up too many times. My hands are angry now. So, egg head. <laughs> and if you muck up, you're an egg head. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you put your foot on like this. <gasps> and I'm not having good luck here. Ugh. Do we have any more eggs? Well, I was going to say, why don't you stand up here? Because, or we'll put this other egg in that you thought. Now, there's no egg in there. We've got one more egg. I'm serious. It doesn't work after this. We're going to have a problem because I won't be able to do a success. So I have to and you guys are going to out. It's a shame. Get your hands off. Oh. Some of them aren't sitting flush. Okay. Right. Try again. Take three. So, if you get one foot on there, it's a good sign. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and when you hop on them, it feels really weird. <laughs> but you will crack some of them. Like that one. It's like a pinata now. It's because you moved. But I moved. That's None of them cracked until Chanel moved. So, if I move... It'll, they'll crack. If I don't move, they won't crack. Yay! But do be careful, guys. Don't stand on this one here because that one seems to crack. Put your foot in the middle of them and then if they crack. Okay. So be careful for this one down the bottom. Bye!